Okay, folks, checking out the new Loki trailer. When I first saw the trailer for this, I really didn't know how to feel about it. So we're getting a little more about what's going on with the uh, Time Variance Association, Time Variance, you know, the TVA. Owen Wilson is, is perfect for this. This was perfectly cast. I really like this sequence. That's fun. That's fun. Like, um, from this trailer, I'm getting, I'm getting a little more. I am understanding what the world is about, and it's fun. This is a fun idea. So we now have the problem and the goal. So now we have to figure out. We have to find out what the uh, obstacles to attaining this goal is. And um, they're probably just a bunch of other Lokis that are going to be the obstacles. Yeah. Once again, originally when this first came out, the trailer for this, I was, I, I didn't know what to think. Well, they didn't give us much. Well, with this now, I am pretty excited. Um, this looks great. This looks like a lot of fun. Tom Hiddleston's great. Yeah, look at this. This looks great. Yeah. That's the girl from um, that really bad Hellboy movie, which I wanted to love. I love Hellboy, and I, I wanted to see them do, do him justice. This girl, yeah, this girl is from Hell... Um, she was the, one of the sucky characters in Hellboy. Yeah, her. Okay. Yeah, she's from Hellboy, the bad movie, the bad one, not... Um, Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy, but that janky ass Hellboy that came out recently, that was pretty crap. So she's in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, with regard to. The fact that um, a lot of the new Marvel content is related to and heavily, heavily references the blip and Endgame. Um, I was complaining about that aspect with regard to the first couple of episodes of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And WandaVision was all about that, right? She was trying to recover from the trauma she suffered uh, during the events of Endgame and, uh, more importantly, losing Vision. And it just didn't seem... I just um, thought they were milking it a little too much. Like, I'm over it. I said that in my in my review, that I'm over it. But here, they're using it again. They're referencing all that stuff. And I like it, you know? It's not, it's not um, rubbing me the wrong way at all. You know, they're really playing into who Loki is. The, the god of mischief, the untrustworthy god. Yeah, they explain it right to us, yeah. Yeah, because it's uniquely Loki problems everywhere. Variants of Loki. So the prisoners of the TVA are called variants, and this is the Loki variant they're using to go up against the other variants, probably, so they can um, clean up the timeline. Yeah, I'm down. It looks great. And it has so many different aesthetics. I really like that. It makes it feel epic in scale and scope. You know, and you can see with the color motifs, right? Yeah. This looks epic. This looks great. You can feel it because um, just like I mentioned this with my Falcon and Winter Soldier review that, uh, they, they, you know, these are small time heroes. So their story is kind of small time. This feels big because Loki is a big time anti-hero. So 
this this is epic. This this the scale fits. The scope fits. Yeah, streaming in June. Looking forward to that. Yeah, folks. Um. Yeah. Have you seen the Loki trailer? What do you think? Are you excited for it? I'm really excited. I think this is going to be really good. And um, at the rate Disney is going, even though I I really don't like One Division, not that I hate it. I just thought it was a big letdown. Um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is ramping up. Like the third episode is amazing. Like that could be a standalone um, MCU movie. It's really good. So that's going somewhere great. Like you know, I'm not worried about that show anymore. And now they're gonna drop Loki. Disney's killing it. Marvel's killing it. Well, not did Marvel's killing it. Marvel's killing it. And um, this is just, um, despite how I feel about One Division, a good series uh, a good and solid series of shows they're, they're putting out here man they're, they really want you to get that disney plus um disney plus will be amazing in like two years you know when it has all this content that you can go back to and watch but right now it's it kind of sucks because you know you have to wait friday to get um the new show the new episodes of the show but like imagine signing up you know not into it right now but signing up like sometime in the future disney plus will be amazing you know what i'm saying especially if you haven't seen any of this anyway let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hit that notification bell so you know when my um, next video is coming out. I'm working on a feature-length movie, my film debut, and um, I'm really excited about it. I'm shooting it with my with my phone well, and nothing else. So um, please stay tuned for that. Um, until then, ladies and gentlemen, we live in a society. Peace.